the two megagram truck, two mega means 2000 kilogram, is traveling at 15 meters per second when the brakes on all its wheels are applied. So 15 meters per second is the initial velocity. Causing it to skid, skid means slips, for a distance of 10 meters before coming to rest. So we have the distance and we have the final velocity, which is equal to zero. Determine the constant horizontal force developed in the coupling C. This is the coupling C, so we need the reaction. And the frictional force developed between the tires of the truck and the road during this time. So here is the friction force. And since this is just a particle, we treat it as one friction force. The total mass of the boat and the trailer is one megagram, which is 1,000 kilogram. Okay, so from what's given in the problem, we can actually find the acceleration of this system. So by having the initial velocity, the final velocity, and the distance, we can find from this relationship, assuming positive in the right direction, that the acceleration is actually minus 11.25 meters per second square, or 11.25 meters per second square in the other direction, which is correct because this system is slowing down, or in other words, we have a deceleration. Okay. Let's start by drawing the free body diagrams for both the boat and the truck. And since the question is asking for this coupling force at this point, then we have to include a static equilibrium between the truck and the boat. In other words, at point C, we will have an equal and opposite reaction. We can put it this way with the R's out or this way with the R's in, it doesn't matter in both cases, it will actually lead to the same physical answer. Okay, so let's consider this case with the tension in this direction. So we have the normal and the weight and the acceleration of the boat. And for the truck, we have the opposite tension with the normal, the weight, the friction force, and the same acceleration as in the boat. And by applying the summation of forces to the boat with positive to the left, so we can see that the tension is the only force that is applied here, and it is equal to M times A, and this gives us the tension as 11.25 kilonewtons. And for the truck, we have the opposite tension and we have also the friction force equal to m times a. And if we substitute, we will get the force as 33750 newton or 33.75 kilonewtons. Again, does it matter if this tension at the coupling is this way on the boat and the other way on the truck? No, it doesn't matter as long as you have equilibrium at this point, which is coupling C, then it doesn't matter. And to prove that, let's see at the first equation, T in this case becomes minus T. And in the second equation, this minus T becomes T. So in the second equation, we will have T plus F equals this side. But remember that T now, from the first equation, needs to be substituted in the negative value. So here, it becomes again negative, and the friction force does not change. The only thing that changed is the direction of the tension. So in conclusion, don't worry about the direction of any internal reaction. If you assume the correct direction, you will get a positive answer. If you assume the opposite direction, you will get a negative answer, but it will never affect your final solution.